Hi, welcome to May Favorites. I have been a little bit not um, filming a lot lately and I'm so, so sorry, but here we go. I still have favorites. <laughs> that's something that's never gonna change as far as I know. Um, but yes, here we go. Let's start talking about all the things, all the things, and there are quite a few things that I've been loving this past month. First of all, if you've been here before and you know my channel and you know my favorites, my monthly favorite videos, I'm all over the place with prices. I'm all over the place with items. I'm not showing, um, you know, things that are just the trend of the moment. I pretty much, I'm only showing you things that are tried and true, that I truly use, truly bought, truly love. And they're everything from strange plastic clips to, you know, luxury things and everything in between. So let's get going. First of all, have you guys ever tried or seen the flaunt cases? They're phone cases by flaunt. They are so fun. Okay, I saw them a long time ago and I thought, well, that's interesting. It's a little bit different. I don't know, you know, I just don't know. Then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. So being me, because everything I do is just kind of blah when it comes to colors. <laughs> I got the white one. The flaunt cases are squared off. So they've got these squared off edges. They're like, a, you know, rubbery kind of a whatever. This is kind of a shiny, um, almost like a patent white is the one first one I chose. I'm filming on my phone, so I can't really show you with the phone in there, but I absolutely love it. I thought, well, that's different. Is it gonna feel weird or whatever? I love it. It gives more grip than my silicone Apple case. They have them for different kinds of phones. I happen to have the Apple iPhone 14 Max Pro. So it's the bigger of the sizes or whatever, but they have many different, uh, you know, different kinds for different phones and different sizes that you can go online and look. But anyway, it's so cute. I went boring at first with the white, which I just love white cases. And then I went all kinds of crazy and tried this one in this um, metallic-y, you know, like it's almost like a mirror. You can kind of see yourself in it. So really kind of cool. Got the clear edges on this one, whereas this one's more of a milky, a milky clear edge. So yeah, I'm really, really enjoying these and I might go all crazy and get more of a color next time because I love how they feel in my hand. I feel like I have much better grip. I don't know, something about those corners, those edges make it easier to type without feeling like you're gonna drop your phone. I don't know, I love them. Give them a try and then down below, I link everything I talk about. Right there will be a link if you wanna click on it to get $10 off your first purchase if you wanna give those a try. They have all sorts of patterns, colors, brights, um, you know, cow print, um, you know, like gemstone looking, sparkly ones, they have everything. So take a look and see if you can get one for your phone and yeah, use that link for $10 off your first one if you've never done it before. Give them a try. They're so cute. I just love how they feel. My nonstop, of course I say that I'm not wearing it today, <laughs> but basically my nonstop polish of choice for the last two to three months has been this one. I do actually have it on my toenails right now, but I'm not gonna show you my toes. Um, I just painted them yesterday. It's this ILNP brand, and the color I love the most is Birthday Suit. Now, here's the thing. I like natural nails. I like them to be kind of, um, you know, not too long, whatever. You know, this is just my general nail look. Um, so I'm not all, you know, long, whatever nails. And I'm not really into sparkle. And this has a bit of sparkle into it, in it. I don't know if you can see a little tiny bit. Do you see that? But when it's on the nail, that sparkle doesn't look so much like sparkle. It just gives it like this candy apple shine of some sort. I don't know how to better describe it, but it's a, a nude that's just gorgeous. Here's a picture of what it looks like on a professional hand, <laughs> which I don't have. Um, so yes, birthday suit is my all-time favorite. They have all kinds of colors, but I've stuck you know, completely with the nudes here. But I do have several others that I really, really like. They're just a little tiny shades darker and lighter than Birthday Suit. This one is L, it's a little bit lighter. I love this one also. So you can see that, yeah, there we go. I have Cleo. And this one is my darkest one, it's Coffee Run. And this one has a little less of the sparkle. It's more of a darker, just a, you know, it's just a, a, a basic. Anyway, love it. Birthday suit's my absolute favorite. This just goes on so easy, so quickly, perfect, easy, lasts so long. Dries quickly, love it. Give it a try. These earrings, I wanna talk about these earrings. These have been so fun. They're just, a, they're 14 karat gold bars and for 14 karat gold, 
They are not very expensive. I think this would be a fantastic gift, uh, like a graduation gift for someone. I believe they were $79, if I'm not mistaken. They are so cute. Like I say, they're 14 karat gold. Just you've got your average stud with the, the post and the, you know, the wing back thing. I've been wearing these all over the place. I absolutely love a 14 karat gold stud earring that I can just put on every single day, wear with it just about anything. And these have really been cutting it for me. I love them. Um, so I wanted to share those with you and let you know that they're not, I mean, for 14 karat gold, solid 14 karat gold. You can't beat it. They're fabulous. They wear like iron in and out of the pool, whatever. Just they give enough of a presence and enough of a design to be different than just a little dot or something. And I think they are fabulous. So I wanted to share that with you. Take a look at those and they have other options too. And they do have some bar ones that like little pearls across and things like that. So give that a try also. Um, love them again, everything's linked down below. And from that same website, which is Quince by the way, you know how I love Quince, um, that I got this watch band, it's for my Apple watch. I've been using the silicone Apple band that you just slide on, it doesn't have any kind of a connection type of a thing for the longest time and I really do love that, it's very, very comfortable. But sometimes I just sort of want it to, to look a little more elevated and this watch band looks very much like, very similar to an Hermes band if you've seen those, they have a very similar look in the, um, like the, their taupe color or whatever. These come in many different colors. I'll show you here with the different colors that they come in. Very comfortable, very, very comfortable. And you can just choose the two, the different sizes depending on, you know, which size your watch head is. Um, watch face, is that better? Watch head, whatever. Um, very comfortable. I thought, oh, I'm so used to this silicone. I don't even feel it. Is this going to bug me? Not at all. Same. Feels just as comfortable and it just gives a little bit more of an elevated look, presence, whatever to it. So, and it's, I think $29 and it's leather. Yeah. So yeah. Before I forget also this top I'm wearing, if I wear stuff, I forget to talk about it. I got this, um, not long ago, just only a few weeks ago. And I swear I've worn it. I washed it. I've worn it. I've washed it several different times. I love the little embroidery on it. It's just kind of a peasant top. Um, very, very comfortable, lightweight, chambray. You can wear it, um, you know, with this undone or done, whichever way. I've been pairing it with white shorts and white pants a lot. Um, I'm just finding it to be easy to just throw on in the summerish time here in Florida. It gets really, really chilly in stores sometimes. So I feel like if I'm wearing something lightweight, but with a sleeve to it and shorts or a skirt, I am cool enough, you know, when I'm going places out and about, but I'm warm enough in a store. So this has been my go-to top. And I've just been loving it, washing, wearing, washing, wearing, and it's held up great. And I just think that's just really cute. So I wanted to share that with you to make sure that you can get in on it. It's on sale right now. Take a look at that one. I think you're gonna like it too. True to size, stick with true to size. Here's a weird one. I discovered these probably along with a lot of you um, at Pampered Chef parties 147 years ago. These clips, they're bag like chip clips and they're called Twixit clips. And it was the Twixit brand, but they put Pampered Chef on them. I'm pretty darn sure it's exactly the same thing. So when Pampered Chef parties came out, I tried these clips, love them. As years go by, you lose them, whatever, you know, people run off with them, you know, it happens when you have kids. Um, so anyway, I needed more when we moved. I decided, okay, I'm just gonna bombard my drawer with Twixit clips. So I found this container that you can get, 26, I believe, of them in this container for under $20. Love them, way cheaper than you could ever get them at um, Pampered Chef, by the way. But absolutely adore them. They come in different sizes for different things. You can get different colors, all sorts of choices there. So take a look at these. If you don't already have a chip clip you love, like the kind that are clamp, you know, kind of clips, they just, I don't know, they don't feel like, I feel like you, the air can still get in, but these really, these do it. So yeah, love them. And by the way, my father was a big inventor of this thing here called the living hinge. It's just where the plastic gets thinner and creates a hinge. It's called a living hinge. And his patents for them are on my wall right there. So I think that one of the first adopters of that living hinge was that McDonald's styrofoam box way back in the day. Um, if you remember that at all, the styrofoam box for the Big Mac, I think had that kind of a thinner styrofoam there. And that was the beginning, I believe, of the living hinge. I don't know the full story. I was a small child when this happened, but anyway, yeah.
gotta love that. He got no royalties from it, zero, because he worked for a company and the company got it all. So yeah, but we're proud of him. I've got his patents on the wall. If you've been with me for a while, you know that I love comfortable shoes. I love shoes that are cushy. I love shoes that have an arch support and I love a skin tone shoe, especially in the summer. Oh my gosh, you can wear anything with anything if all your shoes are skin tone. <laughs> it's just kind of perfect. So for me, any taupey shade works great. Now, here's the thing. I have been running around like a crazed lunatic um, for a month now. Ever since we bought the new house, we're still getting organized, still zero furniture has come in. Um, running, running, doing, packing up things, undoing boxes, the whole thing. I'm literally getting about anywhere between 11 to 12,000 steps a day to upwards of 15, 16, 18, you know, thousand steps a day. So my legs hurt at the end of the day, even if I'm wearing some comfortable shoes with arch support or whatever, I can really feel pain. I mean, it's starting to really hurt. So I found these and I know you guys have all probably heard of them before. And I'm probably really late to the, to the game. Um, but they're Ufos. Ufos. And they are recovery sandals. So basically athletes use them, people recovering from any kind of knee injuries, whatever. They are extremely cushy. It's just a regular flip-flop. It's a little bit thicker. So yeah, they look a little bit on the thick side. If you're not into that, you don't have to wear them out of the house, but you can wear them all over the house and it's more comfortable than your bare feet by a long shot. They've got the arch support in there. So amazing. Like walking on comfy marshmallows. So, so good. Absolutely love them. They come in many different colors, different styles. Just hit the link down below. You'll see all the different options and choices. They have the non, um, you know, thong, whatever kind. They've got kinds that just go across, you know, across here. They've got men's, women's, children's. Love them. But I'm telling you, after a day on your feet, or even if you can wear these during your day on your feet, whew, amazing. So I want to share my UFOs with you. Okay, here's something that I recently discovered and I'm kind of mad that I did, but I'm going to tell you about it and you make your choice. Um, <laughs> it's Lake Pajamas. Now lakepajamas.com is where I found these. Um, no affiliation with them whatsoever, but I love these so much. They're not inexpensive, okay? And I, I, I hemmed and I hawed about trying them and I don't even know what made me decide to try them because they're, they're pretty expensive and oh my gosh, am I obsessed. I have a couple pair now and I have to stop. But I love their shorts, their short sets. Here's the one I have. Here's the set I have currently um, that's clean. The other set is in the wash. Just so comfy. It's the cotton, it's the material. They're 100%. Peruvian Pima cotton. It's known as the cashmere of cotton and it's silky. It's a silky smooth. It's not like a t-shirt cotton. It is, it doesn't even seem like cotton. You, you would swear there's some, some other kind of a silky something going through it. It is just so, so smooth and cozy, but yet kind of cooling. It's like you're not wearing anything. I don't know. They're the most comfortable PJs I've ever worn in my life. And I love them. There's no other way to say it. I mean, yeah, they're like a hundred bucks. So unless you're, you know, really into wanting to give it a try, don't even look because you're gonna fall in love. They have different styles, different, they have gowns, they have, you know, things with long sleeves, short sleeves. So they don't just have the short sets. They have things for men, women, children, um, but look for the Pima Peruvian um, cotton if you're gonna try them. If you do, you will be absolutely amazed. Um, I went up a size. I like my um, things when I'm sleeping in to be a little bit on the larger side. And I'm glad I did because I would say that they, it fits, um, going up a size makes it fit like almost the way I, exactly the way it should with a little bit of extra room. It's not like it's a whole size bigger on me. So I do think they run a smidge small, but not really much. So yeah, I would go up a size, but it's Lake, Lake Pajamas. Love them, can't say enough. And I hesitate to share it because you're gonna love them too and then you're gonna want all of them and yeah, just like me. But there you go, <laughs> do with it what you will. <laughs> you're gonna love them too. One thing I have discovered while being here in Florida is that I cannot even walk through any store that sells plants without losing my mind. I, It's gonna look like Jumanji in here, I don't know. I've, I've got plants 
coming out of crevices and corners and onion. I can't stop buying plants. And the reason mostly is because they're gorgeous. Number one, being in Florida, they just thrive. They're absolutely stunning. And two, oh my gosh, are they inexpensive compared to where I'm from. Um, I'm from the Midwest. I've lived in you know Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, all up there. And I'm telling you, you can get a like a nine foot palm tree here for $199. Anywhere up there, number one, it wouldn't grow. But if you could find one to grow for like indoors or whatever, it would be $2,000, I'm telling you. So anyway, um, all the plants here are so inexpensive, I can't stop buying them. So I, I've, I've done pretty well so far. I've tried to keep it to a minimum as much as I can, but I then need pots for the, the plants. Have you guys looked at planters for plants lately? I am shocked at how expensive they are, basically. I am absolutely stunned. They are so much more expensive than I ever remember them. I haven't purchased any in a long time, but anyway. I stumbled across quite a few that I absolutely love at the Home Depot of all places. I was at a chiropractor appointment. I saw it on the way back. We don't have one very near us. And this is like a 40 minute drive for me to do. So I thought I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna stop by. Oh my gosh. I It was everything I could do not to buy every plant in the place and every pot, but I did find some really good ones. Um, so if you have a Home Depot near you, stop by. I'm not sure if it's the same way in other parts of the country, but their planters are amazing. But give the Home Depot a try if you're looking for planters for any of your plants that you're recently purchasing because I found quite a few cute ones. And here are the ones I have lined up on my patio at the moment and then the one for my Monstera plant. Um, amazed at how good the prices were and the choices there. So give that place a try and then you can go online too. You can find some things online if you don't have a Home Depot near you. It's worth trying because honestly, shocked at how expensive they've been getting. Whew. I've been in need of a, um, a new rug for in front of my stove. I couldn't find what I wanted. I didn't really know what I wanted to do color scheme wise. Um, I still don't know what's happening with my kitchen and family room a whole lot. Uh, the new furniture hasn't arrived. So I just wanted something basic and I'm a big, huge fan of like raffia, jute, sisal, those type of things. So I found this it's like a diamond patterned um, jute rug for in front of my stove. I love it. It just, it's like an elevated, natural, casual, but elevated kind of a look because of the diamond pattern. And they, they have all sorts of different sizes. They have um, runner sizes, everything. So I'm loving it. Incredible quality, a good thickness, but I don't feel like I'm gonna trip over it when I'm walking to and from. Um, stays put. I do have a rug pad underneath it, but you know, one of those non, non skid things underneath, but honestly, absolutely adored. If you're looking for anything like that and you want something a little bit different than your average one, I love that diamond pattern. So take a look and see what you think of those and see if there's a place in your house that you could throw one of those because it's good stuff. Also, speaking of raffia type looks, which I absolutely adore for summer, this bag, it's like a clutch and it's a raffia look, but it's not real raffia. They call it faux raffia and look, it looks exactly like raffia. It feels like it, it sounds like it, and it's not. So it's much more durable. It's not gonna, you know, break off and have little pieces like sometimes raffia does. But it's a clutch bag and it is so, so darn cute. It's a good size, okay? This, that looks way huge compared to my head, but I swear it's, it's like this perfect size, okay? <laughs> I love it. So it just opens, you know, with a little boop like this. It's got a little pocket inside. And you can just put everything you need right in there. Your phone, your sunglasses, hand lotion, lip gloss, car keys, you know, whatever, your Kindle. Um, and it just can fit right under your arm. It's perfect for just kind of holding like this. Great for going out to dinners. Um, I absolutely adore this. I think it's perfect for so many things. And it can even be used inside of a bag. If you have a tote bag, you can put it inside of the bag just for the things that you're just running into the store for. You can just grab this and go. I'm loving this. It's so cute. It comes in two other colors also. Take a look, see what you think. But if you're looking for something like this, I think this cannot be beat. I think that you can use this for years and years and years because this is something that never goes out of style, which is something I love about it. It's not like it's just this season's thing. Raffia is always a big deal in the summer and a clutch is just classic. I am all about making every day feel special. I mean, just stupid little things that I like to do throughout the day just elevates my day. Like I love listening to fun like bossa nova music, just instrumentals or instrumental Spanish guitar or something like that that just gives a whole ambiance. You feel like 
it's like the music that you listen to when you're at a nice dinner, you know what I mean? Or you're in, you know, some sort of a nice shopping area or something. It just kind of elevates your mood and it just makes the, the day sound special. Um, I don't know, little things like that I love. And one of the things I've always loved doing is using glassware that's a little bit elevated for everyday stuff. And I found these, I love them. Absolutely love these, they're ribbed. They are kind of a squatty, short type of a glass. They're very well balanced and very well weighted. You can get them in a set of four, I think $38 for a set of four. Um, very, very good quality. I use these for orange juice. We use these for, you know, Pepsi or Coke. Um, we've used these for wine. We use these for water glasses, like little water goblets. We, my husband uses them for milk. He loves milk and he's always drinking milk. So we can use these for anything. And I love that about them because they are special enough to feel like really nice drinking your orange juice or your Coke or your lemonade or your whatever, but they're also nice enough to use for a mixed drink or a pina colada or a glass of wine, whatever you wanna use them for. So I think this is just one of those little things that you can get in your home to use every day for all sorts of things. You can even use it, we've actually used them before like for ice cream, you know, they kind of look like good ice cream bowls, ice cream with sauce and whatever, and it's a perfect, perfect size. So take a look at these, I think they're amazing. And these are actually in my giveaway this month. I do a giveaway every single month. These two of you will win a set of four of these cute, cute glasses that you can use for so many things and it's just a little special. Um, so take a look at the giveaway. So the way to do it is to write down below the video where all of these items I've talked about are listed. There will be a little place that says click here to enter the video. Click there, you'll just need to answer one little question, put in your email address and you will be entered. One week from today, the winner will be drawn. It's a random thing. I click a button, they choose it for me. I will email the winner and two of you, there will be two winners this time, um, will receive a set of four of those glasses. One of the most fun things for me about the giveaway is the question that I ask. Every time I ask a question, it's just something that's required to prove that you're not a machine, you know, you're a human. And I love reading through, I read every single one of your answers and I absolutely adore it. And I think I wanna start showing like the top answers for um, the different questions I ask. And last week's question, last month's question was um, for summer, what is your favorite either alcoholic drink or non-alcoholic drink, but what is your go-to summer drink? Like that just screams summer to you, you're gonna sit out on the patio, you want something to drink, what is the thing that you would choose? And the choices I found the top five were, and then this is in no particular order because I didn't actually add them all up um, to see exactly which ones won top whatever, but iced tea slash lemonade, those were big. Um, then pina colada, love me a good pina colada, margarita, sangria, and mojito. And the especially fun part was that I could see a whole bunch of different answers of drinks that I have never heard of before, never tried before. And so now I have a fun list of different things to try. So that's unbelievably fun. So that's what's fun about the question. So whenever you answer the question, think of me, gonna be, I'm gonna be reading those, every single answer and enjoying them to pieces. So that's what you're doing for me when you're doing this. So thank you so, so much for joining me. As always, I absolutely love having you with me. I, I think of you guys constantly. Every day I'm thinking, oh, I should film this, oh, I should film that. And then I just get so crazy busy and things are not, you know, working out for me to do so or whatever. We've had a ton of company. We had Claire and Gracie here for three weeks, which is great. Um, so yeah, it's it's been a lot, but we are, we're settling down into some things. Once the furniture starts coming, I'll have more to show. Um, we're still kind of struggling to find people to do things we need uh, done in the house and um, struggling to find the time for my husband to do the things he wants to do because he works full time, all that. But we're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely. And I will be talking to you guys about some stuff about all that soon. Thank you so much. Love you to pieces. Bye.